I'm Lynn Langett, and in this screencast, I'm going to take a look at doing MapReduce functionality in MongoDB, but I'm going to compare and contrast it by actually running this tutorial that I found on the MongoView site, um, and I'm going to show how it looks in a SQL Server using a group by, because uh, a lot of us come from relational background. So this example that's at this URL listed here was really interesting. You, um, you grab some data out from the GeoBytes world map database, countries, regions, states, and, and cities, and it's a CSV file. The instructions here are for MySQL, so I actually did do a couple changes for SQL Server, um, which I'll post my code with this blog post so you can get it. So what we want to do is find the two closest cities in each country except the U.S. because the table information, 75% of the cities are already in the U.S. So this shows what a MySQL um, table looks like. And then on the tutorial, it goes on to first show the SQL solution and then the MongoDB solution. So let's go there. So in SQL Server, I just imported the CSV as a flat table um, just for the simplest possible um, uh, first test. And uh, this is what it looks like. So you can see the city ID, the country ID, and notice the lat, lat long there. Um, and uh, what I then did is I wanted to get the data in a form that we could work with. So uh, you can see here's the links to where the data is. So we're looking for the two closest cities in each country except the U.S. So uh, what the example showed is just kind of simplified geometric calculation. The Earth is a 2D plane, so the distance between two points um, is computed as the, just the square root, which is not the most precise, but just gives us something to work with. So, as the example says, if the distance between each pair of cities in a country were known, then in SQL we could just use a group by statement where we divide the data by country and find those two cities where the distance is minimum. So um, what we've done here is I took the source code that was from MySQL and just did a couple of translations on the functions. So we've got city um, distribution where we're doing a, um, a self-join of the cities table, retrieving the country ID, then the city ID, the cities, the second instance, and then we're doing the square root to figure out the, the distance there. Um, a country should be the same, and then we want um, to calculate the distance between two cities only once, so we have an and condition here, and then we want to filter out for, for US. So I went ahead and created that, and then um, I've got uh, the view to uh, the query to execute the group by against it. So I'll show you what that looks like. So the first one's just on the heap table here. So we want the city distribution, and we have a subselect here, the country ID, the minimum distribution, okay? So we're going for the least value, but we still want greater than zero. And we alias that subselect as an A, and then we join. And then uh, we have the condition of the country ID is the, the city distribution and the minimum district. So what's interesting about this is not only that it runs, but how it runs. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this. And for the purposes of time, I just executed it, and you can see we have 174 rows out of the 3,200 um, in the table. And uh, the execution plan, of course, has a lot of um, hashing because and table scans because it's heap tables. It also tells us that we have a missing index, um, and we should go ahead and create a non-clustered index. So let me improve this and see if we can get a better result. So I'm actually going to uh, pause this. And here I'm showing that I've created a, a copy of this and added this index with the recommended included columns for lat long. And I'm going to pause it and rerun it. And you can see when I compare the two executions, obviously the one with indexes runs more efficiently, 47% to the batch versus 53. And this would, you know, obviously scale um, when we had more results. And if I scroll down, you can see that we're making use of all the indexes. Um, so I am running uh, short on time, so what I'm going to do is um, record, uh, uh, bring in the, um, the comparison to Mongo in the second video. So one thing I will note that it took between uh, four and five seconds to execute this query on SQL Server. So uh, in the next part of the video, I'll show um, how to translate this logic into a uh, MapReduce. So again, this is uh, Lynn Langett. Um, on all things data and uh, more in part two.